Okay, it's Tuesday. It's uh, 8.30 and I'm trying to do the five peak challenge in Mission Trails Regional Park in San Diego. Testing out this new pack and I actually have these new trekking poles that just came in. I found them this morning under the car. So I'm a little skeptical. Well, not skeptical. I just don't know what the integrity of the carbon is. This was rolled on by a car, so. I'm gonna go this way. Actually, it's super easy. I don't even need my map. I just need to follow the trail. It's really humid. So this is Coles Mountain. 906, summited in about 30 minutes. On to the next one. It's so nice that it's a little bit cooler up here, but it's still pretty humid. Foggy. It rained a little bit last night, which was pretty rare. I was hoping it would actually just be raining today, and then I could actually test out a couple of things I had in mind. Looks like Piles Peak is down that way. Let me check it out. Here at Piles Peak. It is 9.36. All right, heading back to the car, and then I'll probably do Kwai Pai, Kwai Pei, Kwai Pei, however you pronounce it, and then uh, south in the North Fortuna, I guess. I don't know, I honestly spent like five seconds looking at the map. It's pretty easy here, there's signal, so I just downloaded the map really quick on my phone, and yep. Oh, I just had like a couple minute conversation with this nice gentleman that was inquiring about these, uh, these shoulder straps bottle holders, which I guess not many people seem to have seen. Um, he was using like a Camelback hydration bladder. I guess the issue that he had was it's just taking up too much space. Good thing about the Camelback though is when it's really hot, the water actually stays kind of cool. So I mean the water that's inside the tube gets hot, but the rest of the water, once you drink that first little bit, it's really cool, which is quite enjoyable. Now with these Exposed water bottles. They're very accessible, very easy to fill up, but you know, they'll get pretty hot pretty quickly. Okay, it's uh, 1036. Two hours later, so that's about three miles an hour. Carrying a 15 pound pack. The pack feels really good right now. Nice and snug and uh, no chafing or anything. Obviously, I have the SBS sweaty back syndrome, but I mean, what do you expect from something that has no back panel really? I did keep the foam in there. I think it probably helps because the sleeping bag is pretty round. Now it's time to drive to the Kwe Pei trailhead. This is really interesting, like driving from trail to trail. Oh, the air conditioning's so nice. Okay, so I didn't really know that you could just park here next to the trail. So I, I parked like way back there near the campground. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, well, here we are. This is, uh, Kwe Pei Peak Trail, 1.2 miles, 120 feet. Oh, that's like, like not even bad. Why is it difficult? I don't know. Let's see. It is sandy. Okay, but... And then there's the actual trail. 11 o'clock. Morning. Morning. It's getting hotter. <sighs> Maybe I take back what I said. The train's not very rugged, but the uh, way that this place slopes pretty consistent and steep. Oh, I get it now. Look, it's getting a lot steeper. Cool. Yeah, you know, fortunately it's April. If it were like July, instead of being like in the upper 70s right now, it'd be like 90. There's something to be said about just sitting at home on the couch or at the desk, watching somebody in the hot sun. <laughs> if faced with a choice, I'm sure most of you would rather be outside. The thing about San Diego is if you get just even a little bit of shade, it's so cool. But when you're out in the sun, it is hot. You guys, this area is very sensitive, so make sure you leash your dog, make sure you stay on the trail. We have a desert environment right here, which means that things take a long time to grow. 11.30, and we're here at the peak. Here I am at Clay 
Cafe Summit. Such a short little sign. It's lunchtime, I'm hungry. All right, 11.58, done the trail. It's interesting how I'm finishing all of these in like nice increments of 30 minutes. <laughs> the walk of shame to the car, which I did not park by the trailhead. Fortunately, today is the 18th. Did not even know that. All right, I'm doing the North Fortuna Trail because it's closer to Quepe than the south ones. This uphill goes on for a while, but now we're finally at the Fortuna Saddle. You can hear the electricity in the wires. I don't think the North Fortuna Peak is that far. Oh yeah, you know, it's just up there. Gotta go up that little thing, and then we'll be there. All right, we're here on uh, North Fortuna Summit. Let's see what's in it. Whoa, I just saw a snake. What a nice spot to just take a quick little break in the shade, but nope, we got business to do. It's two o'clock. I'm gonna go get my certificate before the office closes as well. It's a 15 minute drive to the West Fortuna staging area. All right folks, 248. And this is the final peak, this is South Fortuna. I got some birds behind me. And um, I think it's about the same distance as the North, so I'll just go knock it out in like two hours. Mountain lions. Sweet. Check that out right behind me. Isn't that crazy? I didn't expect any shade and then like some really soft ground to walk on. This is nice. But the shade is probably disappearing soon. <laughs> Okay, this is the nicest one out of all of these. About seven hours after I started this morning. This is the last peak. Oh, that was a little faster than expected. Oh, he's tired. Poor dog. I just passed two guys. They weren't prepared with the right amount of water. So I gave him the rest of my water. Back through the bee farm. Four twenty-five. It's been eight hours. Five peaks are done. I'm gonna go get my certificate. There, yeah, that's more like it. Six thousand feet of up and down. All right, the visitor center closes in five minutes.